Hi everyone, this is Deborah, and I'm just going to show you these snippet rolls that I've made. I've never made a snippet roll before. I've seen a lot of them, and mine are probably the craziest snippet rolls you've ever seen because I haven't worried too much about being perfect. I've actually rolled them up. I've got a big one and a little one, and I've rolled them up on these vintage um, bobbins that I have. They're a wooden bobbin that they used to use in the factories and I have a, quite a few of these and so I've used a couple of those to roll them up. This is the smaller one and I'll tell you how I made them because I did make them actually differently. So this one here, each of the snippet rolls I've, I've roughly cut at about the two and a half inch mark and how I made this one was I started out with a piece of fabric it's just plain um, lining fabric or homespun or whatever you want to call it so I started out with a piece of that and it was around about the um, 11 inch mark it just happened to be a piece that I had the reason I use that is because I knew I wanted to make them roughly two and a half inches so I knew I'd get four of them out of the the piece if I did it at that size and then I took all of this quilting fabric that I had left over. So these were all this size already. I didn't have to cut these down, but they were long. And so they fitted perfectly across the width of the fabric. So I just laid them all down. I didn't bother to sew them, you know, together. You can see that there's raw edges everywhere. I personally think that that looks fine. And so I laid them all down in different colours and you can see here as I unroll it that there's all different fabrics. So I've got quite a few quilts and I've made quite a few quilts for family and friends as well. So I just went crazy and just used everything. No really rhyme or reason to how I put them down. I just tried to contrast them. So if I had a light, I had put a dark beside it. You know, I spaced out things like the, the words and yeah, I didn't put sort of two stripes together intentionally doesn't mean I haven't done it but I just laid it all out and here's something I was sewing on the top and I haven't cut it off yet but that's okay we'll leave it um, and then I just sewed them all together and so I've made it the width of the fabric which is um, 44 inches was the width and I've just sewn that all together so then I cut it just using my rotary cutter and I did use a ruler, but I didn't worry too much about getting it perfectly at the two and a half inches. I mean, people might not like it, but that's who I am. I prefer things that are messy. And then also at the time when I was sewing it, I laid down things like a doily. So this is part of that doily. It was laid across the whole piece. I also put down some lace, some ribbon trim, more lace there um, what else have I got bits of other lace even if it didn't go across the width of the fabric I just laid it down and just sewed it on here's some ribbon different things and then after I finished it yesterday I got my machine out again and I did a few different things I picked up lots of different um, bits and bobs that I had lying around so I pulled out like my lace tub and I thought, what can I use in here? And I also got my ribbon tub out and I started to just put things on it. The other thing I did was I got out some, this is vintage French linen, and I got out my stamps and some black ink. This is a permanent ink. And I used my stamps on it and I just stamped a piece with things like this alphabet, the hand, um, the numbers, and then I sew them on individually. So I did that as a separate exercise. So you'll see a number, here's the other half of those numbers. And also this things like this. So I've got a little, this is a, a cotton reel that I had, which had all this sort of pre-frilled pre piece of um, fabric. I didn't do that myself. I bought that because I thought it looked really cute. And I've used a fair bit of that on both of them. And then I got things like this. This is a piece of cheesecloth and I just bunched it up and just sewed across it so that it was easy to do. The ribbons, you can see that's been sewn on afterwards and I think I'm coming to the end. And these little doily pieces. So I've just only got one side of that done at the moment, but it's secure enough so that as I could, um, as I sewed things on, it just became, I think, better and better looking. There's another piece of that ruffle. 
this is a little bit of lace that I've had and I've just bunched it again and just not worried too much about it. This here is a piece of ribbon. This actually got some velvet down the middle and another piece of pink fabric. I've got to trim that off yet, but I've just put that on yesterday. Another piece of that lace I love. And then I've got this one, which hasn't even been sewn on yet. I've got a pin in there, but I will go back and sew that on. Another bit of lace. This here was sewn on afterwards. It's pretty ruffled pink fabric that, um, um, it's like a ribbon. It's got some tulle and some pink on it. I thought that looked really pretty. So I've got all of these and I just sewed them on and I've got quite a long snippet roll. This is some vintage linen, both of those are vintage ribbon, vintage linen and then a not so vintage piece of ribbon and I'll cut that off so that'll look really cool there. Some more um, ribbon or lacy stuff. So you can see that's what I've done with that one. Now I created the second one in, in a similar manner but not exactly the same manner. Here's the end of it here. So with this one, I actually had a lot of pieces in my quilting where I'd made like a, a block, um, a square for people who aren't quilters, where there were different, there's different fabrics and you just basically make your blocks up. And I'd made some blocks, but I hadn't actually ended up using those blocks. So I had a lot of things that weren't in a complete, you know, long, long piece for me to use. So I created this one by getting a piece of that same sort of homespun fabric because it's nice and light and cream and it was quite a large piece and I started in the centre just by sewing down a block and then I just started adding different squares and whatever I had, rectangles, whatever I had around it and covered that whole piece of fabric and then I added other things on. So for example, I wanted to show you, here's, a, here's an example of the block. So this one here is this fabric and this fabric and you can see it's not a frayed edge. That's because I've actually created that block when I was quilting, but I never ended up using that particular block. So I've just put it down, sewed around it and butted all the fabric up against one another and then made this, this giant thing. I think it was about I don't know, 45 inches by 45 inches. It was pretty big. And then I started just randomly cutting it. So you can see I've cut some smaller pieces and then I've also cut, see this This is the next one when, when I joined them all together to make the roll. That's the next one. So it's cut slightly differently. That doesn't bother me. Um, that's the way I work. It's how I like to work. And then yesterday, again, I sat down and I just picked up all these other bits of leftover stuff, like this bit of ruler ribbon here, some more lace, and more of that stamping, more fabric. I've just ruffled doilies, sort of ribbons, and I've put them either vertically or horizontally, or sometimes I've just put them in a random order. And I've made this massive snippet roll out of it, so it just goes on and on and on. So when I come to cut things like this, I'll probably just make sure that I, you know, use bits of this particular piece. There's another random bit of leftover that I've plopped on there. Some more ribbon. So wherever I thought, see this one's bigger again. Wherever I thought that it needed something to make it more interesting, I've put something on. And that's just by sitting at the machine again with my tub of leftover fabrics and, and my tub of lace and my tub of ribbons and just going through it. Things like this I sewed on at the time, this one here too, this is vintage lace. So I've mixed it up and really made it quite sort of different I think and I think that it's actually really really pretty if you look at it all together it just, I don't know, it brings me joy. I'm doing my KonMari thing and saying it really does to look at it, it's just so lovely and I'm really looking forward to using some of this in my journals and that's it for now. So they're my two snippet rolls that I've made, having never made one before. This is Deborah. Thanks for watching the video and I shall catch you soon. Cheers.